Thank you so much for coming today. This is our second annual SEC Stoll presentation. Uh, my name is Julie Pesina, and I'm the advisor of SCEC. Uh, and this is Dr. Lodermilk, and he is our co-advisor of SCEC. He's um, always behind the scenes, kind of helping us out. He's been our guest speaker several times, even when I've just called him at the last minute. He's always there to talk. He loves to talk. <laughs> but he's not gonna to get to talk today. <laughs> um, I wanna tell you what we are and what we do. So SCC stands for Student Council for Exceptional Children, and we are an organization that promotes advocacy and awareness for children and adults of all abilities. All of our activities are geared towards working with kiddos and adults um, of different varying great abilities and so we're very proud that we do a lot of community work such as Special Olympics you'll see some pictures here as well um, there's a friendship dance that we do every February um, we have volunteered at a school in Mexico a special ed school a school just for kiddos with varying abilities um, we also adopt a class um, every semester, every fall, and every spring, and we have a picnic um, or a Thanksgiving luncheon for the kiddos. So that's what some of the pictures that you'll see up here. And so that's what we do and who we are. Um, I want to get started by having the members introduce themselves and maybe who they brought today. Um, today you could have brought someone special if you wanted to, if they happen to have the afternoon off. Um, so we're going to start with Miss Sonia. <laughs> First one. <laughs> Thank you, Miss. And then we'll st I'm here, Miss. I was Esperanza Valdez. I brought my son and my husband. Hi, Welcome. <laughs> Hello, I am the former treasurer from SUC. I brought myself. Hi. Uh, <laughs> Thank you, I know. I'm Veronica Garcia. I was a former president for SEC, and the two lovely people I brought today is my sister Crystal and my brother Leo. Welcome. Welcome. Um, hi, my name is Lila Martinez, and I brought my lovely boyfriend Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Miss. Um, Miss Celeste? Oh. <laughs> Hi, I'm Celeste. I'm a former representative as well. We're the lovely club of SEC. I brought my boyfriend, Saul, and my sister's on the way. They're very important. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Clarissa Gonzalez. I came so. <laughs> Hello everyone, I'm Luis Garcia, this is the woman that brought me to this world, my mom, Tony. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Okay, hi, I'm Valerie Cabello and I brought myself as well. <laughs> thank you. I'm Rebecca Sines and I brought my wonderful parents with me today. Thank you. Hi, I'm Isabella Lopez, I was formerly vice president of SCEC and it was a great year and I'm really nostalgic being here right now. I brought my parents with me and my nephew. <laughs> I've been an SEC member for like two years already. Maybe this is the third year. Mm -hmm. Hi. <laughs> Hi, I'm Brittany Formella and I've been a CSEC uh, member for two years as well. You can talk to us about what it means to you to be an SEC. Well, I decided to do special education because I can have two sons that are special needs and they're actually if they're also on the not a good sense. And being in this on our club and organization, it's helped me to give back a little bit more and it's helped me uh, see the wider range of disabilities. Mm -hmm. And it was awesome just to be able to volunteer and to give back in the way. Great, thank you. It's 
it exposes you, um, as you see, exposes you to all abilities and capabilities. And that's something not everybody gets to experience. A lot of kids, you know, um, they're isolated in units, so the, the regular kids don't interact with special needs kids. So this really makes you vulnerable, and I've created friendships. Um, I wish I would have been able to um, When I first met Ayanelli, when she did her interview to enter the blocks, you all remember that scary, scary interview with the four easy questions? This is how we interviewed her, and she is very passionate about her field, and it shows. Thank you. We appreciate that. <laughs> um, at CDC, like they all mentioned, they have different reasons why we joined this amazing group. Uh, for me, it's just that it brings communities together. It makes people aware that just some people are very special. We all get to experience that, experience that with them. Um, I fell into this, this program when I was a substitute. They put me permanent in a special education classroom and I fell in love with it. I came to Pan Am and I heard about the SEC organization and I knew I just had to join. Um, it's just a wonderful organization, um, brings awareness, and it just brings communities together. Thank you. <laughs> I forgot to mention, I know a lot of you know what I went through, and I want to thank all of you. Because I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Especially Vero, the ones in the first block, and even the ones that I've met, you all encouraged me and you all pushed me. I'm very grateful. Um, so I'm actually specializing in bilingual education. I didn't go through the SPED program, but being in Ms. Pesina's class, and I was, it brought awareness to me. Um, that way when I'm in the classroom, not only do I, I can help my, the, the bilingual students, but if I have someone, I've been able to help them out. And like they've said, they brought a community together. The services that we do, it's something that I highly admire because it's not easy, but it opened my eyes to what is outside the classroom. Thank you. And I'm glad she said that you, she's not a special ed minor. You don't have to be a special ed minor to join the organization. We do have bilingual generalists and generalists and people in other fields as well. And we thank you for giving us a chance to um, kind of show you what we're about. And so we know that you're going to be a strong, inclusive teacher. I decided to do special education because I wanted to specialize in something. And so I didn't really know what I was going into. I've never been around special needs kids. But um, it was I wanted to take the chance and do something different. Um, and I have had an amazing experience with my friends this year and even the ones that have already graduated like I feel like special education teachers we just we understand more and this club has taught us to be accepting of others of their differences of the way that others think and it's it's been great it's like a second family <laughs> There's many reasons why I chose SCUC. Not only is, does a disability define a student, but you are unique in your own way. All of us are unique in our own way. Thanks to our advisor, Ms. Bessina, she really helped all of us grow together and to establish a great bonding together. So we should round of applause. <laughs> this group not only taught me community, community service, it taught me leadership skills, and many opportunities that I get to provide now in the classroom. I have been able to incorporate my love and my passion to my students, thanks to the love and passion that both even Laundromat as well has taught us how to treat our students. The program not only has enhanced me in my knowledge, but has enhanced me in my teaching skills and in my passionate career that I'm 
fully excited and thankful, very thankful for you guys. But if it wasn't for you guys, I would have not chose special education. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, and the students, right? I'm sorry, that <laughs> rare. Oh yeah, them too. <laughs> Well, I ch also chose to be in SCC for the same reason, and I feel like it's opened up so many opportunities for me and all of us as well, and I'm really excited to start um, working in the fall, hopefully find a job, right? Hopefully we all do. And um, this club has given me and all of us that experience to work with any, any student, not only students with disabilities. So. Good luck, guys. <laughs> Thank you. I got in. This was not let me in. I really enjoyed it. I learned. Um, I learned a lot. Like, I mean, I mean, I've been in the unit, and people are like, "Why are you? Were you scared of going to the unit?" I'm like, "No. I mean, we go do this program. So you can see through the club. We we interact with kids that special on the things and everything. So I feel this prepared us for the classroom and everything. And that's it. And good luck, Thank everyone. You. Like we said, I feel like it gives us a chance to um, interact with the kids, even if we haven't had experiences um, with them. Um, I was also able to meet great friends like Luis and Cynthia at uh, the basketball Special Olympics. So not only is it giving us interaction with the kids, but also <coughs> building friendships with friends. <coughs> I joined SCEC because obviously I was a SPED minor, so it made sense to me to join and it gave me the opportunity to interact with special needs kids and volunteer and give back to my community. I had never volunteered before other than once, so I love the opportunity that we have to. We have a certain amount of hours, but I exceeded those hours just because I enjoyed it so much. So I think it's a great opportunity to give back to the community and that's why I joined. Thank you. Like Jennifer said, I had all. She didn't have prior experience with kids with special needs, and I didn't really have experience either. And when joining this club, I got to do so many things, community service with the, the kids and get to know them, and it's, it's very rewarding. And this semester, being in the resource classroom has really opened my eyes and helped me see like what a difference I'm making. So we're all making a difference. <laughs> I'm the last one that talks. <laughs> um, the reason I joined SCEC, um, I suppose it's because I wanted to meet different students with different exceptionalities, different ways of learning, and this organization helped me do that. Um, I feel that it was an extension of my teaching and of my learning to be a teacher. It taught me a lot about what kind of person I want to be and what kind of person I need to be as a teacher for different learners. Um, I'm super surprised this is all ending really quickly and I'm super happy to be a part of this organization and it, I'm really happy to have met everybody and to been able to connect the classroom to the community and that's what this organization did for me. So I know as a teacher I know who to call or who to ask what should I do with my students in, in this situation and it's awesome. I'm happy to have a whole bunch of teacher friends. Thank you. It's especially the, it's different from being in a general ed classroom because you have that one one to one experience and you're able to help them and focus on just that one child who's suffering in any content area. Thank you. I joined SEC because I, I really have passion for kids with special needs. Like ever since I was in junior high, like I like helping the coaches with all the students and stuff like that. So, like I, I really fell in love with kids with special needs. So, I really want to make a difference in the students' lives. So, I really like this SEC because we got to work uh, with some of those students, you know, and um, like for for my some of my community hours, I went to a daycare where I, I got to spend a lot of time with it, with adults with special needs. And 
I really, really enjoyed that. Thank you. Do you want to introduce me? Okay, so we are going to start with this, the presentation of the stoles. So the first one is Valerie Cabello. And in case you're wondering how to put it on a graduation, this is it right here. <laughs> over your cap and gown on Saturday. Um, Sonia Rivera, who is our historian. And the officers have the opportunity to put down their title or their position. <laughs> she forgot. <laughs> Thank you. And then Miss Ayanelli Monaco, and she was our treasurer. She was a money lady. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then our president, one of our strongest presidents, Veronica Garcia. Vanessa Zapata, <laughs> Serna, <laughs> Slash, <laughs> and today she's our only non-special ed minor, but that's okay, we'll forgive her, <laughs> Mina Martinez. <laughs> Celeste Cisneros, who is our representative. Gonzalez. <laughs> and Mr. Luis Garcia. One of like two men in the club. <laughs> this semester we have like five, so that's good. <laughs> Thank you. And Miss Valerie Cabello. 
Oh, she already got it. Oh, you were the first one. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Miss. And Miss Cynthia Ramirez. Yes. Sorry, Cynthia. <laughs> And Miss Rebecca Sines. Isabella Lopez, who is our vice president, former vice president. 